Hi, welcome to our walkthrough of the Neo4j Aura workload for Microsoft Fabric. We'll start with a quick tour of the Fabric workspace uh, and the lake houses that we're going to use, and then we'll take you through uh, transforming your one data into a graph uh, data in Aura, and then a walkthrough of uh, our Explore and query uh, consoles, um, which are embedded in the Microsoft Fabric workspace. So uh, let's start off with the items that we'll be using. Uh, so we've got our one lake catalog. Uh, here you can just filter, if we just filter by our lake houses. Um, there are two lake houses in this workspace. There's retail and store data. Store data is the original lake house, and retail is a lake house that uses shortcuts to refer to the store data. Uh, and you can see this if you come to lineage, um, it shows that um, the upstream uh, relationship from retail is the store data. Okay, uh, now if we come back to our workspace, we're using one called Aura Trial. Uh, and uh, the next thing we want to have a look at is our workloads. So in workloads, you find all the partner and Microsoft workloads. Uh, we have our Neo4j Aura DB with Graph Analytics. We're currently in preview. Uh, this workload has already been uh, allocated to our organization, so we don't install it here. Uh, but you can see that you can attach the uh, capacities uh, to different workspaces, and you can check that in this case we're assigned to our current workspace. Um, we're compatible with the Lake House. Um, you've got a handy link to our uh, documentation. Uh, and you'll find our certification uh, attestation checklist as well. Okay, so let's go over uh, back to our workspace and we create our first graph item. So we select new item, Neo for J, you'll find us under several categories, visualize data and analyze and train. So detail, example. We now have the option of uh, starting a trial because we're a new user. Uh, we've not used Aura before. Uh, you'll get a 14 day trial and only one trial uh, for your organization at this time. So click start trial. And what this do behind the scenes, it will create uh, an instance in Aura, our cloud service. So you can see we've trial started. Um, recommend you uh, copy the password. You'll need this if you want to run graph algorithms from your Python notebooks in Microsoft Fabric using our Aura graph analytics service. So I've copied the password, I put it somewhere safe. I can now close the window. Um, what it will do is pull up uh, our available lake houses. We're going to use the retail one, which provides, uses shortcuts. Uh, and then uh, we select the tables that we want to transform into a graph. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to select these four tables. So behind the scenes, what we've done is we've used uh, our generative AI assistance uh, to take the tables that you've provided and propose a candidate graph. Now, you do have the option to edit the graph. You can add in other nodes relationships. But the reason uh, it hasn't um, connected the two other tables that you provide is there's no uh, obvious uh, relationship uh, between uh, the tables. Uh, maybe if we selected more of the tables, we'd have pulled in more graphs and we would have seen a larger graph. But for the purposes of the demonstration, we're going to go straight on, uh, transform the graph. So at this point, 
what we'll do is we start the import job and that will submit a spark and wait for the aura instance and then finally run the actual import right we're now inside of uh, the explore this allows some kind of very uh, simple um, text-based search on your uh, graph so you can type show me a graph and you can see here that there are orders um, with products so it contains the product banana organic plain Greek milk yogurt we're able to run graph algorithms so I can run uh, let's pick page rank we apply the page rank algorithm and we can do scaling so you can now see uh, the most influential products uh, are like uh, banana plain beer and sweetened almond milk and then we have our uh, query console where you're able to ex execute cipher Um, and then you can revisit your import model, explore and query. Um, and then your one late catalog, you'll find uh, that you can select the different data types. So now it will appear as other. You can see your retail example. Uh, you can even uh, endorse items or favorite them. So if you select settings and then endorse, you can promote it. So others in your workspace, I don't have a permission to certify it within my organization. So you now see endorsement promoted. Um, that concludes the overview where we've shown how to create a graph data set by transforming one lake data into a graph by Microsoft Fabric Workload. Thank you.